Good morning, guys. Um, so yesterday, your teachers, including myself, posted um, a video for you to watch on YouTube, and it was on uh, what? I just forgot the name of the animal. On the lesser gerboa, sorry. Um, on the lesser ger gerboa, and we also added Google Slides for you guys so that you can. Um, add information about the animal, right? So we asked you guys to kind of think about like what does the lesser jerboa do in order to get away from the desert fox? And so um, what we're gonna be doing is maybe every day maybe we're gonna try it out, but we're gonna send you guys um, a YouTube video about a specific animal. We're gonna ask you to watch it. And as you're watching, you're thinking to yourself, um, how does this animal use its adaptations to survive in its habitat or in its environment? And what I mean by that, um, for instance, uh, an adaptation of a giraffe is its neck. Its neck is extremely long. And so the neck um, has a function. The reason why the neck is so long is so that it is able to reach the tops of trees in order to eat, right? And that is an example of an adaptation. There's another, there's so many animals, even us, we have our own adaptations. They always have tons and tons of adaptations. Um, another example would be the cheetah, right? The cheetah has these black markings that go down its face. And really it's in order to, block, as it's, it's one of the, it's the fastest animal on land. It's one of the fastest animals on land. And its purpose, right, those black markings, is to help block um, the sun so it's not going straight into their eyes so that they're able to run fast, okay, in order to catch prey, right? So the idea is that we're gonna be posting different animal um, videos, hopefully ones that you are not even familiar with. I'm sure you weren't familiar with the lesser gerboa. Um, and today we're going to be posting one on a rusty spotted cat. It's one of the smallest um, wild cats in the world, um, but it's one of the deadliest. So um, I'm going to, we're going to upload it. We're going to ask you guys to watch it. And then we sent you guys Google Slides. We're not going to send it to you every day. We post because you already have it in your drive. So I'm about to show you how you're gonna access that so that you can add your own slide. So the slide, I'm not gonna add it there for you. You're gonna have to do it. So watch me as I share my screen and I'm gonna log in as a student. Let me see. And one second while I do this. Um, I wanted to open up Internet Explorer, but I guess I'm going to do it differently. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, again, depending on what you're using, right, your tablet or your laptop, it might seem a little, might look a little different, but you want to go to Google or Gmail. Um, you have to be logged into your account. That's very important, and that's how you've um, you've been accessing your work, right? Um, okay, so once you're here, you're gonna click on the little waffle, the Windows app, and you're gonna go to Classroom. Okay. Yesterday I posted it, so you can just go into Classroom and find it that way. I'm gonna show you two ways. So I prefer, my friends, that you guys just click on classwork instead of going to stream because people have been posting I'm, um, on there. So you have to scroll down. And then once you scroll down, right, you're going to find the video. This is the first video, but you'll see the second video too. But in the first video, the first post, the one about the lesser jerboa, I posted it there. So you could open it there. But... There's another way to do it. You could also go to your Google Waff your apps again, your Waffle, and just go to your Drive. And once you go to your Drive, you're gonna see all of your documents that you've created or things that I've sent you or that your teachers have sent you. 
sure it's loading, so one second. And there it is, right? It should be there. If it's not, I would just type animal adaptations, right, in order to find it. So you click on it. And once you click on it, you're going to see that we have a few slides, but there isn't a slide for the rusty spotted cat. So you're going to get to add your own slide. How do you do that? Well, make sure you're watching me. So once you're on, you can go to slide two after slide two. Like I can see, um, I think I did this one yesterday with, with um, the group, but you would um, click over here where it says plus new slide. I like to click on the arrow because I want to see my options. And I might just click title and body. You can click other ones and there, it's just easy to get rid of a box if you don't want a box. But this might be easier so that you learn how to type inside. You can change your font if you want. I know some of you really like doing that. Um, and you can change the color. So like if I just highlight whatever I'm writing, I can choose another color if you want. Play around with it. This is part of how Miss Marlonado learned how to use a computer. Nobody ever taught me. I just clicked on buttons and saw what it did. And if there's something I don't like, I just click the undo button. So rusty spotted cat is what you're gonna do today, right? After you watch the video. So you definitely need a title. You can make that title even bigger. Um, and that's totally fine. Nothing bigger than 30 or 40, because if not, it's gonna be huge. Um, there's so many little things you can do. I'll just show you guys really quickly some things that Miss Maldonado does. I like to make a line to just make it look nicer and I can change the way my box looks and I can change the color of it. Maybe I'll make it green. I can also, the words are kind of to the side so I highlight and I can click on formatting to make it, you see where it says align. This is where the fun part comes in and you can play around with it and figure out how different things work. So rusty spotted cat. And then today what you're gonna write about is its adaptation. So you might start off with, I'm gonna change my font again. The rusty, Spotted cat has many adaptations. Um, for example, it has very strong vision, which helps it which helps it to so i want you to try to write at least four to five sentences about the rusty spotted cat and what its adaptations are like um obviously you can make this a little bit bigger so like i'm making it size 20 so it's easier that's not what i meant to do see where i can just click on my undo button so i can fix it and i'm just going to make it maybe size 25. Okay, um, and the other thing is that we want you to do so that it can, you know, make it fun again, is that you can go to Google Images and then you can find pictures of, a rusty, of the rusty spotted cat so that you can add it to your, your slide. I'm gonna say no more than four pictures, like four pictures is enough. So like I know this one's from the video and I like it, so I'm gonna click on it. And if you guys remember how to do this, right, um, you're going to just right click or double click for, I think some of you it should be double click. I have to right click for me. I click copy, I go back, and then just somewhere, I click somewhere on the page. I right click paste. And then my picture should come out. And I can resize it. When you see that this blue line is around it and there's these little square boxes on the corners or on the sides, it means that you can resize the picture. 
and that way you can add more. All right, guys, I can't wait to see what your Google Slides are going to look like. Remember, only make a slide when we ask you to make a slide. Don't go and make other ones. Don't delete your slides if you do. If there's something you do and you're like, oh, I made a mistake, just click the undo button as quickly as you can, okay? All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.